All right, so in this video, we're gonna go over how to assemble the cabinets to go the uh, modern ones they got. They're called, I believe, the Euro cabinets. And these are the gloss white ones. They got a couple different options as far as colors go. But I couldn't find anything online of anybody assembling these. So I've assembled quite a few of them. The first one I assembled was this drawer unit right here. That took me about two hours just to figure out where all the hinges go, how all these pieces click together, because the instructions are pretty bad. If you think Ikea has bad instructions, these have way worse. And we'll go over a little bit of the quality of them, what I like, what I don't like, um, some of the issues I had. Those are the uh, taller vanity ones there. So I got one left. We're gonna be installing a base cabinet, pretty much. If you could build a base cabinet, you could build any one of these. Because a drawer is just a bunch of the top drawers and the doors, which a base cabinet has. You could do any wall cabinet. So we'll go over this, um, how to assemble this, the tricks to it, how everything goes. Because some of the pictures are kind of vague and some of the things I learned on it. And um, right now it is 240. So you guys will have an idea of how long it takes to uh, build this cabinet. So let me get it open and uh, we'll start taking the stuff out. All right, so real quick, we'll go over what we got. This is a side piece. The piece I put over there is a side piece. You're gonna want a uh, flat surface torque those so I just work one on top of a cabinet I already built and I got just a stack of wood boxes over there I build that one over there this is gonna be the back of the drawer here it's a skinnier one and all of these are gonna be supports that are gonna go from side piece to side piece these are the hinges put those for later and I'll go over where these go because some go in certain places and some are finished some are not finished <clears throat> That is the bottom plate there. That's the back piece. I'm gonna leave the drawers in the box. And this is all the hardware for the drawers here that we'll go over in a second. So these cabinets are put together with these here. All of these go in these smaller holes here. So you're gonna put one here, one here, all the way around the cabinet. And then the dowels are gonna go in the bigger holes which the dowels are already installed on all those cross pieces and the bottom piece. So uh, let me get those installed and uh, I'll come back and show you what the next step would be. All right, now that we got all the cross pieces on the ones that are important are these right here this one and this one these are finished on the front none of the other ones are finished see that you're not really going to see that once the cabinets are on but those that's the face of the cabinet so you're going to see that and then all the other ones only go one way the back ones make sure the holes go to the back so you can tighten them this is the bottom plate make sure the holes are on the bottom that's the front plate. Make sure the holes are on the back. And that's pretty much it. Now we're gonna slide the piece in the back that goes in that track back there. And then we'll put the top piece on and then we'll start putting the uh, pieces that lock it all together.
All right, so we got the whole cabinet all buttoned up and tightened, tightened all the corner pieces, and there is only enough to do the cabinet. So if you have an extra one, it is because you miss one somewhere. And it's probably gonna be this one or that one because I have forgotten them quite a bit. And that is a kind of a downfall is I've already had one cabinet that was missing a twist piece and I had one cabinet that was missing the screw that comes down here. Um, but I mean, other than that, that's kind of the only drawback about having the exact amount. It's nice that if you know if you have extra parts, it's because they go somewhere. But it kind of sucks when it's missing one and there's not any more. The trickiest part was these hinges. This is what took me the longest on the first one. The instructions tell you to install them first. But it doesn't even tell you which one of these holes, what's front, what's back, what's up, what's down. It just has a very vague, crappy picture. So, it actually goes on the first row of holes, the second hole in, the first circle, not the oval. Put that screw in first, then you're going to slide the rail out, and then you're going to put the back screw. And that's where they go. That's pretty much what took me the longest time. And you're going to want to put these pieces on first, because the first couple ones I did, the instructions tell you to put these on first. When you put these on first, sometimes it's hard to put this on, so you got to loosen it. And then put this on, tighten it, and then you can tighten the rail. So just put all your wood on first, and then put your rails on. So I'm going to put this one on, then I'm going to put the cabinet on the floor, put the one on the other side, and then we can start building the drawer. Another good thing about putting this wood first is it kind of holds the slider exactly where it needs to go. So if I would have done that first from the beginning, I probably would have saved some time trying to figure out which hole it was. I'm just starting with my finger a little bit, come back, get the drill. Be careful with this rail because it is a little sharp. And make sure you do get it on the bottom row, not the top row, because I've done that too. All right, so to build our drawer, we got our drawer slides here. And these are some metal drawer slides. This is probably the other thing that took me a long time to figure out how those brackets go, where they click into these, and how they click into these. The drawer bottom is gonna be the piece of wood that is not finished on any side. And the drawer back is gonna be the piece of wood that's just finished on the top. So the instructions don't show what size, what side the finish side goes on, and how those brackets really go on. So I'll show you how those go on, how they click into there, and then how we're gonna attach the front piece how we're gonna attach the bottom plate to the rails, because that also matters, I messed the cabinet up there, and uh, how to put the screws and everything. So let me set the camera up, I'll start putting things together here, and uh, once I get everything together, I'll kind of show you how everything goes. All right, so when you put these on, and I actually just did it backwards in this video, I'm not paying attention, but this top flap, you can see the bottom doesn't have one, is the top of the metal piece that's gonna click into that bracket. So you want this to the top. And when you put these on, if you put everything on a flat surface, you can see that gray part hangs down a little bit. It'll be a little cocked. So once you get these tightened on, make sure you bring them back down, and then you're gonna to have to retighten the screws. Same thing on the other side. You can see there how it's still a little bit of an angle. You just kind of push it forward and then tighten the screws down. So I'm gonna show you how these click and where they click. In the directions, there's nothing that says if it goes this way or this way, and it goes in there somehow. So this is what takes the longest, but just so you know, the screws go back. So you can't see them from the inside, it'll look like this. You're gonna put this in here, match this curve with this curve, and you're gonna push it in there and you're not always gonna find it on the first try, but you're just gonna kind of move it around, keep pushing, and it will eventually click in there. There it is. I'll see if I can show you the other side because I had to put it closer to me to get that on. But 
these two tabs here have to go under this tab and that tab in there. So that's what you just got to look for. See what you get on camera. When you get it right, it goes right in. All right, now we're going to slide the drawer bottom in. You got to make sure that this piece kind of goes under that one there. And the drawer front should be flush with the metal pieces there. This is the drawer. One of the things I do like, this is the only MDF. The doors are the only MDF on the whole cabinet assembly. And they did put these plastic inserts in there to help from stripping it out when you're tightening the screws. These are the two brackets that are going to go there, and these come with these different screws to attach it. Don't finish tightening one because sometimes those inserts are a little bit low and you'll actually cock it to one side. And be careful with it. It does have a protective layer. That's why I'm just putting it on top of this. But don't. It's smooth and it's not going to scratch it with nothing. But just make sure whatever you're putting it on is clean. And then you're going to see these drawers are a little harder to realize, but it is slightly closer to the bottom here than here. Um, this side will be down, that side is up. Just line it up with the gray part here and place it in. And I'll go over how you could remove the whole drawer assembly or the front of it because the instructions are also pretty bad at that. It took me uh, probably 30 minutes just to figure that out. So let's go over how to screw the bottom plate now. <clears throat> so you have to screw in in all these holes here. However, if you screw this bad, if it's either pushing the drawer or anything like that, it won't close right. And that was another of the issue I had on the first cabinet I did. So the best thing I found out is assemble the whole cabinet, set it on its face. Make it where it's nice and square. Make sure your plywood is touching on both sides of this bracket. Make sure it's to the edge of this bracket. Make sure nothing moved because I did have one that it did slide into the drawer or the drawer front, but somehow those brackets could go in and out a little bit and it was spaced out here and it was closed and bad. I had to take it back out. If you do mess it up, you got one chance of taking this back out and flipping it around because the holes are offset more to the front than the back. So if you do mess one up, you could take it out, flip it around, put it back in, and your inside won't have any screw holes. So you do have two chances at screwing this in right. All right, now we got the cabinet finished. We're gonna slide it on. The instructions didn't have much information about this either. But I guess it's because there's really nothing. You just kind of put it over the track. Make sure it's on top of it. Make sure it's square. You could go back with it, then lay it on it. Slide it all the way back. And when it gets all the way to the back, you hear a click. And then you can make sure everything's working good. Make sure the soft close works. You can make sure it's level to the sides, to the bottom. And in here, in this back row, there's a little plastic tab. That is what you would use if you want to take the whole drawer apart if you mess something up. Okay. Slide those back in. If you just want to take the face off, you're going to go in this. There's a Phillips, but it's not a screw. It goes up. This one goes one direction. The other one goes the other direction. And then you pop the cabinet off. I'll show you how to do that. So you put it in there. This one's gonna twist forward and you'll see that lifts. You see this popped out, come back to the other side.
and popped out. Just in case you gotta adjust any of this, or you gotta take this back off to mess with the plywood, then you can see here we're square on our plywood. I'm gonna put it back and just kind of click it together. So I do like that aspect. It's really easy to put on and take off if you know how to adjust anything. And that is it for the drawer assembly. So uh, we'll get to putting the doors on. So the instructions call for you to remove this piece from this piece. I found it easier just to assemble the whole thing and then uh, put them on. So it's gonna use this back slotted hole. That was the other thing that took me a little bit to figure out. Just put in a slotted hole, put your drill on it, start the top one. All right, now those are on, we're gonna put the doors on. Let's put the door on. I leave the hinges open, kind of push the door behind it, close the hinges just a little bit, and they'll kind of pop on, hold it. And I like to start the screws to make sure it's in the hole of the plastic and not on the plastic. And then run. The hinges also come with these little covers. These are to cover all the screws, so it's nice and finished. I'm putting all these in a drawer, and I'll put them on later after I get everything installed, once everything is uh, aligned properly. I kind of do a rough alignment. I make sure everything closes, because I have ha have had some that stay kind of open, like this one here. So when that happens, I bring out those hinges a little bit, and she'll close up all the way. All right, I adjusted that hinge on the left, and you can see that the door is just slightly recessed from the side of the cabinet, which is what you want, and now we're closing all the way. But you can see on this side, the door front is just a little bit past it, and we kind of got a big gap in between them. So come over here, and we'll just screw this one out just a little bit too. I usually do like quarter turns at a time. Try it, see what I got. A little more. And that would be pretty good for the rough alignment. Once I get everything installed, then I'll get them all the same next to each other. And the other covers it comes with are these plastic ones here, which these go to cover up that hole there. I'll put them on now. So these are side specific. You'll see the back has two tabs and one tab. The two tabs will go in here and the one tab goes in that one and the letters go up. So just put it there and it snaps in place. And that is it besides those covers of how to put that together. Uh, unfortunately, the stucco guy came in the middle of building this. So as far as the exact time it took, I'm not exactly sure, but it wasn't any more in 20, 25 minutes. The first one is gonna take you a really long time to do, but once you get everything figured out and how it all clicks together and goes, they all go pretty fast. I built, you can see quite a bit of them, and maybe I have a total of four or five hours in all of them, maybe more, because the first one, that one right there did take me two. Um, so that's pretty much it for the installation. I guess I'll go over real quick about the quality of them. Um, I do like, like I said, they are all plywood. Every, everything's plywood um, besides the door fronts. And they got those inserts so you don't strip it out. And it's just so you get a smooth finish that uh, MDF could give you that plywood probably couldn't. Even though the sides are plywood though, you can see it's plywood with like an MDF laminate on the outside. This laminate does chip. It's happened to me maybe five or six times when you're putting in those long screws that the twist pieces lock into. That screw might cock and it'll break off or chip off this MDF piece and laminate, but you don't see it because when you put this piece on, it'll cover the chip because the chip's usually in the middle. So everything's kind of covered. Back here, which is a good thing, it's the back of the cabinet and you're not gonna see it 
This piece down here, you can see that the laminate is only about one inch thick from uh, where this piece slides to the back of the cabinet. And uh, I must have bumped it or something. And it did take the laminate out, but you don't see it. And you can see on the inside, everything's good. So, I mean, it's not a huge deal. They are pretty good build quality. All the soft hinges close nice. The drawers have a nice soft close to them. I do wish that I could have glued them together, but really gluing them together is not gonna do anything because it's all um, laminated surfaces, not wood to wood. So they still do rock a little bit. Once you start bolting them all together into the wall, that's gonna take care of that. But other than that, I mean, the quality is really good. They are incredibly heavy. Those pieces over there are probably two, 300 pounds. I'm leaving all the drawers and shelves out of them. So they get installed. Well, I'll show you the inside of this here. These are nice and deep, they look real nice. So I am happy with the quality. When you're moving them around, you can see the laminate will chip, but again, nobody's gonna see the back of the cabinets or the bottom or the fronts, because you're gonna put your toe kick. You are gonna have to put a toe kick because you can see that the plywood isn't finished on the front side there. So you are going to have to put a toe kick. I've had some cabinets that had like a finished piece and you really didn't need one. It just had kind of a seam between each cabinet. But these will definitely need toe kicks. Here you can see the drawer that goes above the refrigerator. And the other thing I do like are these clips for the drawers. They kind of have a lock. So the drawer will slide past this piece and lock in here so the drawer can't lift up because I've had some where it's kind of just it goes in a hole and it kind of holds it but the drawer could flap forward these with this lock they fit very tight and once you get it in there it's actually even hard to slide the drawer forward so it does really lock it in there I do like that other than that the quality is pretty good like I said the only issue I had I was missing um, one or two pieces of hardware um, but it really didn't happen much and the ones I was missing it on were these two wall cabinets. So I just made it where I put up because I'm missing a screw in one of these, but the dowels are still holding it and this will be solid to mount to the wall on the top. So that shouldn't be an issue. And also mount, the other reason I did this was because I hung all the doors, they go in a certain way. You want to be in the middle of your sink and you want to be able to open this door this way. You don't want to have to open it the other way. So put something obvious on the outside because there is no door handle on it now. You don't want to mount this and found out that you put it on the wrong side. So actually I'll have to probably put left and right on this one because the, these two are all the same on the side of the sink. So if I do put it backwards, both of them will be wrong. So I'm going to mark left on one and right on the other. You can see the other one over there. And uh, we'll get this up and we'll do uh, another maybe review and video of everything up there. That's pretty much going to be it for this video. I hope I helped somebody. I didn't find any information with these new modern uh, Euro cabinets that cabinets to go has. So hopefully I can help somebody out or if anybody was thinking about getting these. They are a really nice finish, real nice gloss finish. The gray ones are really nice and they also had like a... I think it was driftwood, I think it was called. A really nice uh, pattern on the cabinet faces that were smooth. So let me know what you guys think and uh, like and subscribe. There's going to be plenty more house to build here. So if you're building a house, I'm sure I can help you somewhere. Alrighty, guys. Thank you. Bye.